Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Ava's Luxury for Less, with me, Avanita and Draymond Smith. How are you doing? Okay, Draymond Smith. Anyway, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how we found a storage on the side of the street and we make it into something really, really lovely. I really like how it turned out and I hope you do as well. Also, please don't forget to um, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest video. Also, I'll be showing you clips of Tyrese, Trayvon and Shodney's hair that I've sat up last night to do. I am dead tired. Do you like your hair? Yeah. You want to show them your hair? Just hold it down. Ooh, it's really nice. <laughs> So, um, again, guys, thank you very much for all the views, um, the comments, the likes, the share. My first video, I think, uh, yeah, a subscription. Um, there is 25 subscribers or 27. Thank you very much. And then also, um, my video, I think my first video has gone to 100 views. Thank you very much. The second one is about... 92 96 i'm so excited but the last one that i've did you guys are digging it so much so i've got more views on that one than all the other two thank you guys so much again you can also comment um down below of the video what you like what you want to see if this is something that you really like or you know something that you could maybe challenge me to do you know you never know i might challenge myself to do something a bit different but anyway stick around because the video is wicked right Trayvon it is wicked we we did we did did it really well and also shout out to Chardonnay she did a um, video for us and also she was a bit um, tired at times but she did stick it out with us so and I didn't want in the video no <laughs> I did well in the video. Huh? Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And then also, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and like, share, and comment below. So without further ado, let's go make it. So whilst me and Trayvon was out shopping, on our way back, we found this cupboard on the side of the road. The first picture is what it looks like, and then this is what it looks like after... Um, I've upscaled it um, with some um, contact paper and some knobs that I have here at home. So this is what it looks like outside in my garden. This is actually what it looks like when we found it. I just bring it inside and just leave it just outside of my garden in the alleyway. And this is exactly how we found it. One of the doors is missing, but still we can find something to replace it and then just make it look nice. Um, I don't think it's, you know, that damage to be thrown out. There's so much things that you can do to recycle stuff and make, make it look a lot better. So here I am. I'm just using one of my cleaning cloth um, just to wipe down the dirt and just to get rid of some of the dust, which is there, you know, obviously from being in uh, one place in the flat or the house. So I'm using my impact driver now just to um, take off the door and also the, the hooks, if that's a good word to use. Yeah, I don't know what they are. The hooks. <laughs> so I finished taking off um, everything. Well, not literally everything. I've just taken off the doors. So the hooks are still remaining. And I'm just using my cloth just to go around and clean and just to make sure that it's free of dust because I will be using um, my contact paper um, just to wrap over it. So um, I've used um, this contact paper before in my kitchen. Um, the difference is the one I used in my kitchen, I paid £5 for it. This one I got for £2 from the Wilco in Edmonton Green. I'm sure it's on sale. There was only one remaining. I was thinking to get two. But there was only one remaining. But still, it did do the job. And I had a few pieces remaining from the job I had done um, prior in my kitchen. So um, it did work out well. 
So I'm just measuring up where I need to cut it from. And then I'm just going to use my scissors just to cut off where I need. You want to be very careful with the scissors, please, because these things can cause accidents. So after I've done um, cutting one side, I'll just flip the paper um, to the other side and then just cut off the excess that I don't really need. I will use it um, maybe on a different project or maybe at the end, but I won't throw anything away. Never, never throw anything away. You never know when you will need that little bit amount of stuff and then you don't even know where to get it. You're thinking maybe, oh, I need to buy something, but if you haven't thrown it away, you can just reach and just get in it's like there it is yeah so as you can see there are guidelines on the back of it just to show you how to cut where to cut so you don't make any mistakes i think this is quite handy as well so i'm just using um, my hand just to rip off um the paper at the back so i can start putting the contact paper onto the storage cupboard So I've started at one end and I just use my fingers just to hold it in place and then just gently start moving my fingers across just to get rid of the air bubbles. Once I've done that, I started using um, my coaster holder just to um, go onto the top and, um, as I said, just make it nice, neat and smooth. You don't have to use this color. If this color isn't um, what you're looking for, there's loads of other colors, load of other patterns. So you don't need to use this. As I said to you, I've used this one in my kitchen and I like the way it turned out. So that's the whole reason why I'm using this one on here. And then also in my living room, um, by the fireplace, um, as you can see from my other video, the bricks are like gray, dark gray. So this would just work in really, really well. So just make sure that if, if you're using a coaster holder, they do sell um that thing that you use to shift away the air bubbles. I'm not sure what it's called, but if you're using the, the coaster holder, just make sure you get a good one because some of them has like a plastic liner just to make sure that the water doesn't come through the coaster holder. So just make sure that you get a good one where when you're pushing it along on the contact paper, it doesn't fall apart this one is really good as I said before I got this at B&M or yeah B&M for $1.99 so I'm just cutting um, a next piece of the contact paper just to add to the side so I'm just gonna cut it and then just um, attach it back to the side Again, please, please be very careful with your scissors. You don't want to hurt yourself and then ruin your day. So after I've done that, I'm just um, lining it up just to make sure that I've cut it right. And then also just to make sure that it fits well. So I'm just using my fingers here just to um, try to connect it to a point where it won't fall off. I could use the coaster holder, but the coaster holder is not going to um, let it stick as firmly as if I was using my fingers. So I'm just using my fingers just to make sure that it stays in place um, before I start moving it around to the other side. Also, some information. Um, the Wilco's are having sale. As I did say before at the start of this video, I got this um, paper for £2. And the one I had had before was for £5. Uh, I actually, As I said before, I, I forgot to remove these things. I'm just using my impact driver just to take them out. So it's a lot easier to put the contact paper on the storage unit. 
also there is um, a pound land in Bruce Grove. Um, it's actually across from, I think it's a TSB bank. Yeah. So loads of um, nice Halloween stuff is in there. The one in Tottenham Hill, they've actually started their Halloween stuff from uh, last week. And I got a few stuff from there, which is really, really good. I got some nice ghosts, um, some pumpkins, um, a witch, um, a scarecrow. Yeah, really, really nice. But I will do a video and then just show you guys all the stuff that I got from there. And they're all one pound. Not just the pound land and Wilco, which is having sale. Most store having sale. So you might want to just um go around and have a look um before you venture on doing any DIY or small projects around where you can get some good deals and value for your money. There is also a pound stretcher. Uh, maybe about three minutes away from Silver Street Station. They have a lot of stuff in there as well. The B&M, they have sale as well. The Sam 99, they do have stuff there as well. You can get stuff like a 50p, 25p. Um, Yeah, so a lot of places are having sales. So as I said, you're doing any DIY project, any, um, you know, upcycling, any of those little stuff that you're doing at home, just make sure that you go around and then just have a little look so you can get some nice stuff for not such an expensive price. So I'm just using my scissors just to snip, just to kind of make sure that I'm fitting the paper into the groove and making sure that it looks nice and not just all bundled up. Um, as I said before as well, um, in my previous video that I did with the cupboard, I am not doing the insides of the cupboard. This is just my preference. Um, one of the preference, um, or sorry, one of the reasons why I'm not doing this particular one inside and I won't do it after is because I'm not sure how much, um, the drawer will fit if I put the contact paper inside. You know, put it in the drawer in, pull it out, constant on a daily basis. You will ruin the paper and end up ruining the whole thing. So I won't be putting any contact paper inside, just outside for the moment. So I've finished um, putting the contact paper onto the storage. So I'm moving on to the drawer. The drawer was damaged pretty bad. So what I had to do was use some nails and then just um, attach the two sides together. I tried to use some wood glue. But for some reason, it just wouldn't hold. So I had to use um, just some small nails and um, just attach the two sides together. You want to be very careful with the hammer. Missing the nail and hitting your finger is not a nice thing. Not a nice thing at all. So I'm just making sure that the bottom of the drawer is aligned with everything and it all looks good. The drawer is not in like a hundred percent good condition because it's it's a normal wear and tear thing where people put in stuff take out stuff a lot of heavy stuff so it's 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 a little bit wobbly but i'm trying my best just to make sure it looks nice so i just use the impact driver just to remove the handles so i won't be throwing the handles away i'll be keeping them because i'm sure i can use it on a next project so i won't be throwing them away Um, I actually did this in the back of my garden, so just so please just excuse like me if you two. see any um, cut wood or anything that you would normally see inside. So here I am, I'm just using um, the contact paper just to measure onto the drawer, just to get a perfect size of what I need to cut. And as I said before, there are numbers on the back, so it is, uh, it's a guideline as to how to cut it so you don't make any mistakes. So I've cut it already and I'm just lining it up just to put it onto the drawer. And I'm gonna use um, my coaster holder again, just to um, get rid of the air bubbles and just to make sure that everything is on nice and neat. Um, before you start, you just wanna use your finger on your thumb 
just to glue it down really nice and secure so when you start pulling on the contact paper it doesn't pull and then just be all over the place and then you can't get it to be in the same position and not just the same position you can't get it to be nice and neat so once you use your finger to hold it down secure it by pressing onto it firmly so it glues on and then use your coaster holder just to get rid of the air bubbles uh somebody's asked me about the coaster holder I actually get them um four of these for one ninety nine at the b and m in um white art lane so they're quite reasonable and I really really love them so I'm just using my scissors just to snip the sides just to make sure I'm getting everything all evened up and neat you don't want it to look too um jumbled up or as if you've botched it up you just want it to look nice and neat I'm sure um not everyone is just going to say, ah, it looks like an original. It's not an original. But, you know, there's so much stuff that you can do with stuff that you have at home that you're thinking, ah, I don't want it anymore. I don't want to keep it. There's just so much things you can do instead of throwing it out. So, as I said, again, using my finger just to make sure that it's all in, it's neat, and ear bubbles are out. And everything just lines up pretty neatly so it looks as if it's an original scissors again snip fold and then lap over again and there we go after I've done that I'm just using my blade just to trim off the um, excess which is hanging over and again be careful with your blade depending on what kind of blade you use my boyfriend gave me this blade and it is really sharp I really like it you just hold it on it glide it along it and there we go really really sharp and nice so um. I don't know if you guys remember, I told you I bought these knobs at um, Home Bargain for $4.99 for four. Um, I actually went back and got two packs, so I'm actually going to use three. So two will be on the drawer, actually four. So two will be on the drawer and then two will be on the cupboard door. So that was one pack. So I'm just using the um, impact driver just to um, secure the knob in place it was a little bit wobbly as if it didn't want to stay so I had to fiddle with it a bit but then once I get a hang of it and then just put it in place it just works perfectly again as you can see there's loads of air bubbles but I will be going over it again after I've put the knob on and just make sure I get everything out so it's nice clean crisp and neat Uh, you don't have to use this color as I said before this is the theme which is in my kitchen and I really like it um, and I think it would look nice on the storage cupboard and then also it works well with um, the bricks which are next to my fireplace because the bricks which are next to my fireplace are like a dark gray so I think it would look really really nice so I've finished the drawer so here I am going to um, try to do the cupboard door because there wasn't a door on one side I'm just making it up as I go along but I've just measured it out use my pencil to mark it and then I'm just going to um, use my saw just to cut it off and then um, see what I can come up with the saw you have to be very very careful with it did start perfectly but then halfway or not halfway three quarters of a way it's just start to get stiff and at times I just have to like you know be holding it really hard just to make sure it doesn't wobble or break or even hurt myself so please please 
if you tend to you if you do want to use the saw just be very careful not to hurt yourself so because i knew two pieces i just flipped this bit that i've cut um put it onto the other side of the wood the board sorry and then just use my pencil and just cut it and there we go there are two pieces there and i will be making a door and then this is what it looks like after i've finished it i mean it's a lot better than how it had looked before there are a few imperfections on it but i will make changes but for the moment this is what it looks like and i'm really really impressed with it guys please please tell me what you think um, please tell me if these are things that you would have used to um, upscale this storage unit. And then also, please leave your comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye.